Welcome back to Material and Energy Balance Courses or also known as Principle of Chemical Engineering. I'm going to share with you an example of how a simple material balance could be done in a distillation column process. So imagine that there is a distillation column and there is chemicals come in which is benzene and toluene and then there will be some chemicals which will be discharged at the top and then another chemical will be discharged at the bottom okay and this will be given based on a different boiling points so um, lower boiling point chemicals will go to the top while the higher boiling points chemicals will mostly go to the bottom. A case such that there is a benzene of 55% in terms of its mass, okay, which is um, in terms of mass, okay, M1, and M2 is 45%, right, and then they are discharged with a feed rate of 100 kilogram per hour going into the distillation column. The top stream contains 85% benzene. So 85% benzene is at the top. And then another one contain 10.6% benzene by mass 10.6% by benzene at the bottom okay so how do we solve this particular problem right how do we determine the mass flow rate of the overhead and the bottom one so the overhead here we need to know what is the mass flow rate here as well as we need to know what is the sorry this is supposed to be mv this is supposed to be ml which is the liquid this is gonna be the vapor okay so 100 kilogram per hour comes in right and then you have unknown flow rate at the top you also have unknown flow rate at the bottom but you were given that 85 percent of benzene at the top which ultimately will be 15 percent of toluene and at the bottom here you have 10.6 percent benzene which you can calculate it should be um, 89.4 percent of toluene at the bottom okay so how do we solve this particular problem there are several steps that we need to know first of all we understand the problem second thing we draw this we draw this flow diagram the third things we label algebraically, okay, and then we for the unknown things we label it accordingly, and then we try to identify what will be the equation involved here. So the first equation is okay, so we know that this is a continuous process, so whatever it is, and there is no reaction happening here, input is equal to output, okay, so. What you're supposed to do first of all is to write the equation 100 equals to mv plus ml okay this is our first equation the second equation is that we know that there are 55% of benzene in terms of the mass fraction of benzene coming in so we can also write down 0 0.55 multiply with 100 is equals to okay we know that 85 percent goes to the top 0 0.85 multiply with mv plus we know that there will be 10.6 percent at the bottom which is 0 0.106 times ml okay so this is our second equation so we want to try to solve this simultaneously but before that we need to do some degree of freedom analysis. So we know that there are two unknown equations 
and there are two unknowns. So in term of our degree of freedom, 2 minus 2 equals to 0. So this is a solvable problem. So here, once you do the substitution, you should be able to get the answer that we needed. Okay, so this is the simplest way of solving material balance problem. Thank you very much.